Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about answering the question, what is a unit rate? You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. A rate is just a ratio between two different quantities. A unit rate is a ratio between two different quantity, but the denominator is always equal to one. The most common example of a unit rate is miles per hour. That's because miles per hour already includes a one in the denominator. So if you're going 40 miles per hour, that per hour means you're going 40 miles every one hour. So this is a unit rate because there's a one in the denominator. We're going to do a quick example of solving a unit rate using this unit rate word problem. This word problem says Jessica was charged $30 for 15 candy bars. What was the price of each candy bar? Your clue that it's a unit rate is that it says each candy bar. Each candy bar means one candy bar. And that one candy bar means that it's going to be a unit rate because we, ha we will have a one in the denominator. We can set up our problem. So we have $30. So $30 for 15 candy bars. So $30 divided by 15 candy bars. The way that you can guarantee that your unit rate will have a one in the denominator is if you divide the numbers in the numerator and the denominator by the number in the denominator. This will ensure that your denominator will have a one in it. So in the case of this example, if we have 15 in the denominator, we're going to divide both the numerator by 15 and the denominator by 15. Now we can take 30 and divide it by 15, and that gives us $2. So $30 divided by 15 is $2. And then we have our denominator, which is 15 divided by 15, which will equal 1, and it's a candy bar. Dividing both parts of the fraction by the number in the denominator will ensure that we have a 1 in the denominator, and that's going to make sure that we have a unit rate as a solution. So our solution to our word problem is going to be $2 for every one candy bar. So we can say $2 per every one candy bar. And that's going to be our solution and our unit rate to this problem. Let's do a couple practice problems on our unit rates worksheet. So the first question on our unit rates worksheet that we're going to show you how to find unit rate with says, Kenny paid $6 for 24 cans of soda. How much did each can of soda cost? So our clue in the problem that says that's telling us what we're going to solve for is each can of soda. That means that each can of soda is going to be in the denominator. This is going to be the part of our unit rate that has to be equal to 1. The $6 is going to be the part that goes in the numerator. It says Kenny paid $6, so we're going to say $6, for 24 cans of soda. So I'm going to say 24 cans of soda. So now we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the number in the denominator. So when we do this, we'll divide 24 in the denominator by 24, and we also have to divide 6 in the numerator by 24. $6 divided by 24 is going to be $0.25, or this would be like 25 cents, and then 24 divided by 24 is for every one can of soda. So we know our unit rate now is 25 cents for every one can of soda, or we can say 25 cents per one can of soda. So our unit rate for this problem tells us that Kenny paid 25 cents for every one can of soda. The next problem we're going to complete on our unit rates worksheet says that in Chicago it rained 12 inches in 5 hours. How many inches did it rain per hour? So this rain per hour is going to be our clue that tells us that this has to be equal to 1. So it's going to go in the denominator. So hours goes in the denominator. So 5 hours goes in the denominator. And in the numerator we're going to say 12 inches. So we have 12 inches in the numerator of rain. 
divided by five hours. In order to solve this, we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the number in the denominator. The denominator has a five in it, so we're gonna divide the denominator by five and the numerator by five. 12 divided by five is 2.4 inches over, and then five divided by five is one hour. So it rained 2.4 inches in Chicago per one hour. And that's a solution to this unit rates problem. The last problem on our unit rates worksheet that we're going to complete to show you how to solve unit rates is number six. This problem says Michael cut five yards and made $87.50. How much did he make per yard? So our clue is going to be per yard. That means that yards will go in the denominator. So to make this a unit rate, we have to divide by the number in the denominator, which is five. We also have to use the five and divide it into 87.50, which is in the numerator. 87.50 divided by five is $17.50. And then in the denominator, five divided by five would be every one yard. So he made $17.50 per one yard or for each yard. Hopefully this video was helpful for teaching you how to find unit rates. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.